Yeah. We're not even like on the ride yet. <laughs> My. Wow. Guys, today is the day. We are going to Hollywood Studios to go ride Rise of the Resistance. But yes, it is currently four in the morning. I know it's a little early for that. But you gotta get there early because what Disney does is they do a boarding pass system. So the boarding pass system is gonna be like a virtual queue. You're, we're gonna get a group number and then they will call your group number throughout the day to let you know when you can come ride the ride. But I'm super excited. The hype is real for this ride. All right, let's go. So surprisingly at five in the morning, they're actually letting us park. Shout out to all the cast members who wake up this early. All right, so we, we're currently parked in like row number three. Everybody's like speed walking to the front now. Oh, we, we row number three. Row number three. Speed, speed it up, Jared. Speed it up. Yes. You gotta, you gotta be the first one to rise. Look at them running up there. <laughs> Five in the morning and the line. Okay, look at everyone just waiting. The line just goes all the way in. Now I asked you guys on Instagram when we should get here. It opens at seven. We're here at five. There's no lines, there's no rhyme or reason. We're just all standing. Yeah. It's currently 6.20, there's a child sleeping on the concrete in front of us. But people started to clap, so hopefully we're gonna start. I think they're waiting until seven to bring us in. We've been staying in the exact same spot. But let's see what they're doing now. Oh my God. Have you ever noticed how weird the S looks? It looks like a Lucky Charms marshmallow. We have made it in, but we still don't have our boarding pass. All right, we got scanned. We're boarding group 40. Already queued up. So go to. Is this Rise of the Resistance? Rise of the Pink Drinks. All right, well, since we got time to kill waiting for our party, we're going to go ride Rock and Roller Coaster. Make it a super stress. Make it a super stress. Yes. All right, well, we didn't have to wait a minute to get through this queue. Mr. Orlando, can I see this new uh, outfit that you're wearing? Yeah, it's groovy, man. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I guess I didn't get the memo to fall asleep. All right, it's time to do Tower Tear. Five minute wait. It is currently only us in line. These trees look like a bunch of Q-tips. What actually happened? It's where they trimmed them. So they trimmed all the limbs off of these branches here. And when you cut it, it's like you getting a cut. Yeah. It, like, oh, you it get stabs a scar. up. After like years and years and years of doing that, it just, the scars like build up and just bulge. Mm. And you know, I got to start the day off at the market with some jungle juice. Ah, uh, the nectar of the gods, but they call it tropical fruit punch. Eat breakfast at Woody's lunchbox. That kind of looks like a molar. I don't know what's a harder seat to get. Be our guest or a seat here at Woody's Lunchbox. Everybody just circles around like a shark. Our server's bringing our food for us. Yeah, where's my tip? Where's your tip? Um, don't run with scissors. That looks like Insta Egg. It does look like Insta Egg and it looks, you, you, can, you can see the container. Mm. The lines of the container. The lines of the container. <laughs> About and to then, drown it in a hot sauce, it's gonna be great. All right, Dom has added hot sauce and mixed it in. It's, it, it tastes like egg. This is a now. s'mores French toast sandwich. Let's see how the Nutella marshmallow, f oh, it's really sticky. I don't know what to think about. You definitely need something to drink with it. I would say go get a churro in the park over getting that. I thought there was gonna be more marshmallow. All right, now the best thing about the Woody's Lunchbox are the Pop-Tarts they have. So for the seasonal Pop-Tart, it's a apple cinnamon with a little snowman on it. No, I got the feeling it's apple cinnamon, but I don't really taste much apple. I don't taste much cinnamon. But it's a fresh bake, as Mary Berry says. Sticky Pete's face is my official review of that breakfast. We apologize at this time. All boarding groups for Star Wars Rise of Resistance virtual queue have been distributed. Dom is spending money he doesn't have. He's buying that limited edition magic band. Rise of the Resistance. How many were made? 3,000, Dom, come yeah, on. That's a lot, honestly, for this thing. He, just, novelty. he just buys them to collect them. Rise of Resistance. I use them, but it's cool. Isn't it, aren't these the thing, wait, when your Christmas lights go out? Yeah, they're fuses. That's pretty ingenious. Mm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the bib looks like. Oh wait, <laughs> I thought it was a bib for a second. <laughs> Padded. When I'm coming through the lines, trying to get into the park, get my get my group 40, I gotta be padded up. So that's what the little bib is supposed to look like. Hold please. Uh-oh. Let's see some identification. Uh, Here I am. Uh, and you want us to believe that's you. 
Yeah? What? Well, that could be an alias, and this could be a disguise. Mm. We'll be watching you. Now, as many times as I see it, I will never get sick of this view. We just got the notification. Our boarding number has been called. I'm not mentally prepared or physically prepared for what is about to happen. I've been waiting for this ride for so long. How are you doing? Good, yeah, how are you? Good? You're all I'm set? clear? We're good? Enjoy your mission. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Like, we've just been looking at this entrance thinking, oh, I can't wait to get in there, and now we're freaking in here. So far, the queue kind of feels like Flight of Passage a little bit. Some blasters. Look, they got, they got Yoda's little light in there. Did you, did you get that? You got that, right? Okay. major trash. God, look at the TIE fighter right there. That was the coolest transition I have ever seen in a ride. Don't bother sending any of that to your resistance friends. You're not getting off the ship. Oh, no. Now, Dom, there are two Disney rides you can work at now. Tower of Terror, because you don't have to smile, and this part with the First Order, where you don't have to smile. Three. What? Haunted Mansion. 
Oh, look at the troopers over there. Have a wonderful day. Mission will begin momentarily under the discretion of the Supreme Leader. For the order. Prisoners are secure. Yes, General. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. <laughs> Everybody okay? The we're getting with resistance. We're here to get you out, but quick, close the distraction. That was so dope. Orange, orange. Oh, orange, orange, orange. Take this oh, board away. Then head down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. Oh, Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Holy oh, crap. Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. <laughs> Spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait. Uh -oh. Go to the oh, God. Oh. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We just went up there. This does not look good. Try to find another way down to the escape ports. The resistance will attempt to rescue the prisoners. They have neither the resources nor the courage to engage us. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields! Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Found the alarm! All personnel to their stations! The prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run.
came in a little off target. Ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. What did we just write? Job recruits. Not what you sign on for, but hey. Was that what you were expecting? No. <laughs> oh my god. I should hope so. Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the resistance base is. We're outside now. Yeah, they're right, let me speechless. Um Oh my god. Oh my god. That's that's all I can say. Dom, how how are you holding up right now? Uh. <laughs> Huh. We're currently leaving studios. I'm gonna take a quick nap and then we're gonna talk about the ride. I have taken my nap I can now function and talk to you guys about how mind-blowing that ride was. Oh my gosh Words can't describe it. It's one of those things where you have to go and see it in person It's like the Grand Canyon. You see a picture. Oh, that's beautiful. But when you see it in person you go oh, oh, this I just want to say the queue in Rise is a lot better than Hagrid's. The first part of the queue is kind of in a cave. They have benches to sit down on. You can play the Star Wars game app in there. There's plenty of things to look at. There's AC. And you didn't feel claustrophobic. So I really appreciated that compared to that horrific queue in Hagrid's. But you get on the ride and it's like you're in the <laughs> It's like you're in the freaking movie. It's like every person's childhood dream came true. And there were so many incredible illusions. There were so many surprises. Normally in a ride you're like, oh I know what's coming next. But no, you, I didn't know. Now the one thing I do wish they had is maybe some live action troopers just kind of like walking through the queue or someplace to kind of like blur that illusion. I want to personally thank every single cast member and Imagineer who worked and created that ride because you did a amazing job. It is overall the greatest theme park experience you will ever have. But on that note guys, Fly down here. It is the reason to come to Disney World, is to ride Rise of the Resistance. And you guys have all been messaging me, Kevin, what did you think of Rise of Skywalker, the final Star Wars movie? I'm gonna end the video with my official review. Enjoy. Okay, I know you guys have all been waiting. Kevin, what did you think of the movie? Uh, episode seven of The Mandalorian this week was incredible. I love Baby Yoda. Snoop Dogg's about to come out.